We can add simple customization to the emulator screen by way of running a macro script. We select Edit Preferences Macro Script from the menu to open up a dialog from where you can create new scripts. Click on the Customize button. On this dialog, we can create a new macro or a new VB script. Fundamentally, macros are used when you need to send simple keystrokes to the emulator screen or execute a function. VSB script is used in case of advanced customization. In this video, we will learn only about macros. Let's start by clicking on the File New Macro. You can see a scrolling character list here from which you can select a character to be sent to the emulator screen. The contents of this list depends upon the host code page they have selected for the current session. Similarly, in the function list, you can see a whole lot of functions from which you can select. These are all basic functions which are allowed to be executed by the user on the emulator screen. Suppose we try to uh, automate the login into a host using this new macro. So in the background you can see the login screen where we need to enter the username followed by a tab and then a password. So we start by selecting the characters which make up the username, for example pcom in this case. And then you select field plus which is a function which denotes the tab character. So it will move to the next field. You select that from the function list and click on the add button. And then again the password to be sent which in this case is pcom. You select the characters one by one and click the add button. Now we need to press the enter key so that the username and the password will be sent to the host. So you select enter from the function list and click on add. Let's save this macro so that it can be used every time we log into the session. Just give it a name that you will remember. Now once you have saved this, you can add more to this particular macro. For example, when you go to the next screen, it's not directly the user menu screen. So say we want to send two more enter keys to reach to the uh, user task screen. So we again select enter from the function list and press the add button twice. Now we save this macro and close the dialog. You can also set this macro as the auto login macro script. So whenever the user connects to this session, this macro will be run automatically so that he does not have to log in every time. Press the OK button to go back to the screen, login screen. Now to verify that this macro runs on this session, we will select file run the same. So that the same session will be connected once again and we check that that macro ran. So you can see that the new macro that we created ran automatically and we have been logged into the emulator screen.